Hey, what's up, Reefers? It's not always rainbow and sunshine and unicorn. Um, a little bit sick right now, so this will be short. Um, so I feel like my tank is in the middle of a mini crash uh, for a different reason, actually. You see, the cyanobacteria really took off. I actually bought some ChemiClean, but I just want to give the tank a chance to really figure things out first before I dose it. Um, <clears throat> so, a couple things. The skimmer was apparently not working at all for the past maybe two or three weeks. I was not pulling bubble until around lunchtime today. I figured, okay, enough is enough. Even though I'm sick, I have to fix this. Otherwise, it's not good. So, I, it turns out it's a clogged airline into input not so much a tube but the entrance it seems like there's a calcium buildup so it's not pulling air in a little bubble so that is fixed and it is immediately starting to pull things out I may skim a little bit wetter just to just so it acts a little bit faster and second second thing I noticed yesterday uh, was that the salinity was a little low it was about 1.023 and I think I may have raised it too fast so I make some I make some salt water, dump them in, and then now it's sitting at 1.025, but I feel like it may have caused some issues. And then other thing that I can kind of think of is that guy, the Rose Bubble Tip Anatomy. Uh, me and my friend both picked one up each from uh, a local reefer who's selling a few. And um, he was he was here before, two nights ago, but somehow overnight it moved to there. So I wonder if along the way it kind of stung everything. It probably like drifted around the tank a little bit too, so that may have happened. So in terms of damage, <clears throat> my priced Manipora Capricornus seems a bit bleached out near the tip. Um, that is where salt water, that's right underneath the salt water flow. If the salinity, the extra salty water that I put in, well I dump it in the sump, it flowed down here right on top of that piece. So maybe that's what happened, I don't know. And also, my blood red Akan Lord. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's almost like a skin has been peeled off. But this is okay because I've seen this before uh, from this guy. It was like this. It wasn't happy with something in the water. And um, it bounced back within a day or two. It was really strange. Uh, same thing with the other Akan. And also, my frog spawn is just closed up, which. That, that kind of worries me, because like usually this guy is um, always open. <laughs> so right now I'm a little bit under the weather, actually really under the weather. Um, so as soon as it's feeling a little better, I'm probably going to do a 20% or 25% water change. Just to help things clean up a little bit faster. And I just want to document this and hope that this is not the last decent looking video of this tank as it heads towards a little crash. It, although it is interesting how it affects certain corals and not the other ones. Like the Gorgonia is not doing too well. Um, but I think that maybe contributed to... I had that bubble tip anatomy sitting on this rock before so it's kind of like stinging that for a couple days. So that may be attributed to that. Uh, but everything seems okay except for the SPS and the Aiken Lord and of course the frog spine So something something is still off, but it's not like oh my goodness the tank is gonna die Right away because things as other things are not closed up yet. So it's interesting All right. Well with this skimmer running I'm gonna give it a little bit of time I'm going to do a water change and then depending on if the corals open up again <clears throat> and how healthy the corals are, I may or may not dose the ChemiClean to take care of the cyanobacteria. We'll see. Alright, just a quick update to document this mini crash or mini um, nutrients explosion. Hey, look. Look who's that. That's the OG. Alright guys, talk to y'all later.